Greetings. This is Stephen from Guild Launch. Today I'm going to give you an introduction to the basic settings necessary to run CT Ray Tracker properly. And uh, as you'll see, we have a server restart in about 15 minutes, so I'll have to make this quick. The first thing you should do is type RT options slash RT space options. This will bring up the configuration screen for CT Ray Tracker. There are five primary settings that you need to adjust to use uh, this tool with Guild Launch. The first is the minimum item quality to log. This is really just basic your preference. If you set it to uncommon, it'll log uncommon. If you set it to rare, it'll log only rares and up and to, up to artifacts. Uh, a lot of guilds will set this to rare so that greens don't get caught, but blues do. Um, minimum item quality to ask cost for, I would just turn this off. Minimum item quality to get cost for, I would also turn that off. Um, the next one is ask for wipe. This is by default on. I would turn that off. Um, you can turn it on if you'd like. The next option is log attendees on boss kill. Ensure that this is off, unchecked. Otherwise, you'll end up with all of your guild members that are in the guild but not in the raid and who are online tracked along with each boss kill. You don't want that typically, but if you do for some reason, uh, you can turn that back on. Then you just hit save. This screen will typically appear the very first time that you load the mod. And you can make these settings and hit save, and you typically won't have to go back into the screen at all. So that's the introduction to the Guild Launch settings that will make this run a little bit easier. Um, none of these settings are absolutely required. They'll just have different effects on how the mod works. Uh, the settings that I recommend here are the settings that are most typical uh, for a typical usage.